the reverse total shoulder replacement is, uh, the first thing I'll say about it is, it is a total shoulder replacement, meaning a lot of people come in and I say shoulder, shoulder replacement, they say, oh no, I want a reverse shoulder replacement. I mean, and they, and they, 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 don't, and they want to reverse. They don't realize, in other words, that it's a shoulder replacement. It is. All joints in the body, when, large joints, meaning the hip, knee, and shoulder, when you replace it, you're replacing both sides of the joint, meaning in the shoulder, you have your arm bone. On top of your arm bone, there's a ball. Uh, it meets with a socket because the shoulder and the hip are the two ball and socket joints in your body. And a reverse shoulder replacement is named reverse because, as I said, in the normal, the way we, were, we came into this world was with a ball on top of our arm bone, like an ice cream cone. In the reverse replacement, what you do is you move the ball that normally sits on top of your arm into the position that currently is occupied by your socket. And the socket is then put on top of your arm bone. In other words, you reverse the orientation of the ball and socket. I think, and when I tell this to patients all the time, even though I have diagrams on our clinic wall, I think it's not a very helpful description. It's a description for that we use because that was how it came in historically, reverse replacement, but it doesn't communicate what we're doing to the patient. If you said to me, and patients do, what are we doing to you when we do a reverse shoulder replacement? What we're doing is two things. First, we're replacing your joint, which as with all replacements, treats arthritis. So if you have arthritis, which means the loss of the surface covering of the ball and socket, you're replacing it with a metal ball and a plastic socket, just like you would a hip. The second thing, and which is not intuitive, the second thing you're doing by reversing the orientation of the ball and socket is you're replacing effectively the rotator cuff. It's a rotator cuff replacement. You can think of it like that because it's functionally, that's what you're doing. We, we use terms like biomechanically, that's what we're doing. So you're doing those two things. So it's therefore a procedure I do for people who have either severe arthritis or, and, or I should say, a rotator cuff tear and arthritis because they often come together. 